My name is Brendan Sweeney. I'm a producer with The Kojo Namdi Show. One of our goals for The Kojo Namdi Show's trip to Port-au-Prince is to get a sense of how the recovery effort is going. But we also wanted to get a sense of what it's like to live and work in a rebuilding city. These images were captured with a small digital camera. We mounted it onto the hood of our car with a suction cup and recorded our trips as we crisscrossed the city. One of the first things you notice is how cramped the city is. The roads don't seem to follow very much of a grid. None of the roads really have signs. And there are a couple of major boulevards and open spaces, but most of our trips involved one or barely two lane roads. This is downtown Port-au-Prince. We're driving along the main drag, Boulevard Jean-Jacques Dessalines. It's commonly known as the Grande Rue. And you can see the destruction from the earthquake on both sides here. That's Marche de Fer, or the Iron Market over there on the left. It was destroyed by the earthquake. You can also see a UN convoy of French soldiers on the left there. I think when I arrived at Port-au-Prince, I was expecting there to be one or two or a handful of major camps for displaced people. But when you're driving around, you literally see tents everywhere. There apparently wasn't much in the way of open space before the earthquake. But now, after the earthquake, pretty much all open spaces have been filled in with tents. You can see them over there on the right. In some parts of the city, tents have actually been pitched on paved roads. In some cases, they've actually blocked off roads to get from point A to point B. In other instances, they create a kind of obstacle course for drivers. This shot was taken at one of the biggest tent camps in the city, Parc Jean-Marie Vincent. Somewhere between 50 and 70,000 people live here now. This area was previously a sports complex, which is part of the reason why it looks relatively well planned. You can see how packed the camp is, though. As you can see, traffic is really bad in Port-au-Prince. Even before the earthquake, there were too many cars for the road network. Now with so many NGOs and international aid groups, it's getting much worse. Right here, we're trying to get from Port-au-Prince to Pétionville, which is a satellite city where most of the NGOs and journalists work out of. It's also where most of the Haitian elites live. It can take up to four hours to go cross town in this traffic. On this drive, it took us an hour and a half to go three miles. And that makes sense when you think about the basic math. Port-au-Prince covers roughly 15 square miles, and it has an official population of over one million people. So that breaks down to about 75,000 people per square mile. By way of comparison, Washington, D.C. is 68 square miles, and it has about 10,000 people per square mile. So that means there are basically seven times more people in every given space in Port-au-Prince. 